फ्लरिसंस इन सीटू हाइब्रिडाइजेशन फ्लरिसंस इन सीटू हाइब्रिडाइजेशन और फिश इन शॉर्ट कलराइज स्पेसिफिक पार्ट ऑफ क्रोमोजोम इट हेल्प आइडेंटिफाई दी प्रेजेंस एंड लोकेशन ऑफ सर्टन जीन्स इन क्रोमोजोम इन दी फर्स्ट स्टेप द सैम्पल सेल्स आर प्लेस्ड ऑन ए स्लाइड नाउ टू सेपरेट द क्रोमोजोमल डी एन ए The sample cells are either heated or treated with mild detergent and alkali. This way, the double-stranded chromosomal DNA separates. Now, to identify the regions of interest in chromosome, we use fluorescence probes. Fluorescence probes are nucleic acid molecules to which fluorescent dyes are attached. Probes are usually prepared by amplifying a specific part of chromosomal DNA in PCR. and a colored dye is then attached to them because of this colored dye they could be easily seen on chromosome in the next step the probe is added to the sample the probe finds its complementary sequence in chromosomal dna and sticks to it this is generally known as hybridization remember the probe could be a single stranded dna or a single stranded rna molecule but the nucleotide sequence of the probe is complementary to a certain part of dna in chromosome multiple probes of varying colors could be used to spot multiple genes in a chromosome after hybridization the sample is then washed to kick out all unbound probes from it the sample is finally visualized under a fluorescence microscope to see the colored chromosomes The colored parts of chromosome depict sites where probes combine with the chromosome. These colored sites are easily visible under a fluorescence microscope. So fish is a technique that helps us discover the presence or absence of specific genes and find their location in chromosomes. That is it for today's video. Make sure you are subscribed to the Science Entertainment. Like and share this video if you wanna help others. Stay tuned. I will see you in the next video.